Pretty Reverend Father Michael Rice Selvam, the Vicar General of our Diocese, Reverend Father Jacob, the Procreator, all the priests, religious and diocesan, my dear deacons, my dear brothers, and all the collaborators. Indeed, Christmas is a great celebration for the whole world. We all participate with all our brothers and sisters in thanking God for the gift of salvation. Amidst all our celebrations, we should not forget Jesus our Lord. We all need to go to Bethlehem to find the Lord, to worship Him, to have our lives built upon His values. There are different people going to Bethlehem according to different routes, according to their own occupation, according to their own lifestyle. We see, for example, the Magi going to Bethlehem with their research, with their ability to interpret stars. We see Mary and Joseph going to Bethlehem, doing their daily duties. We see also the shepherds going to Bethlehem because of the revelation, divine revelation, whatever may be the route, we need to find Jesus. People in our diocese are blessed with extraordinary talents, different talents. Ultimately, we need to go to Bethlehem and see him. There is hope for each and every one of us. There is hope for the Magi. There is hope for the shepherds. There is hope for the simple people. We need to communicate hope to our people. Let us not forget the fragile child lying in the manger, helpless. The people entrusted to our care are fragile. We are fragile. What we need to learn from that child is simplicity, humility. Let us be humble servants, simple servants to communicate to the people of heart, hope, you have a future. I am there for you. For us, a child is born. For the people, you and I are appointed. That should resonate in our hearts every day. For my people, I have been appointed. As for the people, the child is born. How is that child? We read in Isaiah 9th chapter, 6th verse. The child is a wonderful counselor. We go to the child and get counsel from him. I have my own advices. You have your own advices who give you suggestions. These people may sometimes fail, but then the great counselor, Jesus our Lord, will never fail us. Wonderful counselor he is. He is mighty God. We seek strength from so many people. St. Paul says, for instance, in the first, second letter to Thessalonians, first chapter, 12th verse, I know in whom I have placed my trust. Again, Paul says in Philippians, I can do all things with the help of Jesus who has strengthened me. Our strength is in the mighty God, not in human beings. We need not be afraid of anybody. Our strength is in the mighty God. Our might is from God. He is the wonderful counselor for us. 
he is our strength for us also then we hear another phrase everlasting father endrumulla thandai when i hear the word father mother elder brother elder sister what comes to my mind is care who can care for me human beings cannot care for me for life only god can care for me like everlasting father everlasting mother wonderful elder brother elder sister who cares for me we take refuge in that lord and the fourth expression that is given there is prince of peace we need peace in the world peace in the country peace in our diocese peace in the parishes peace in the families peace in our heart he is the prince of peace he is the prince of peace wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace everything is our jesus who is born in bethlehem as shepherds as shepherd of the diocese shepherd of the parishes shepherd of respective institutions what is your role my dear fathers today the lord is telling you be a wonderful counselor to your people who gives right advice words of encouragement good suggestions to your people be a wonderful counselor because you participate from jesus the lord who is the wonderful counselor be they a strength tell the people i am with you my dear people don't be worried i am there for you do not be afraid be the strength of your people like the mighty god be in your respective parishes also everlasting father who cares for the flock by preaching by developing their social life everlasting father my parish priest is a loving father loving mother loving elder brother this is what jesus wants from you i want to hear about you be builders of peace do not break hearts build up relationship communities of communion may we all go to bethlehem give hope to our people living simple and humble lives may we be counselors may we be strength to our people may we be father mother to our people and may we be builders of peace god bless you thank you